so I just finished uploading the video that um that y'all might have seen already by now. And I go on my Instagram, which I rarely check my fucking Instagram anymore. And um like earlier Kaylani like deactivated her face her, her Facebook, deactivated her Instagram. And like I was like Cause like that must have been like, cause I thought I thought that was like admitting like guilt. I didn't know that she was going through some shit. Cause apparently she like tried to commit suicide, and that's fucked up. Coming from coming from a nigga like myself, who done been through some shit. <laughs> like I, mm, 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 I'm not gonna come out and fully say it yet, cause I'll probably it'll probably I'll probably discuss it in a, a video in the future when I get back into one of those. Uh, mindsets but as a nigga who went through shit like that you know not like the actual situation but you know who dealt with it the same way that she did I I you know you know I'm not big on YouTube like <laughs> like nobody probably watched my video but as a as a nigga who went through the shit I could sympathize with what she dealing with right now the same way I could sympathize with Kyrie, even though I, I, I wish I will admit, I will admit I'm not perfect, and I did the same shit that I have a problem with niggas doing, and I just jumped to a conclusion without having no facts, <sighs> which I, I apologize for doing, cause that's fucked up. I shouldn't have did that. But you know, when niggas get when niggas like me get ideas, I just gotta jump on them. I'm sorry. But it's fucked up. So even though she yeah. probably not gonna watch my video, probably nobody gonna watch my video. But coming from even even if nobody's watching, it, it don't fucking matter. For for me, I gotta apologize because I I jumped to conclusions. I don't know the situation. I don't know what happened. I I don't know when that picture was taken. I don't know anything. So, for for jumping to conclusions, I apologize. And again, as a nigga who you know dealt with some shit, how she's dealing with it, you know that's not the way to go about it. Uh, I hope she get better. I hope she get her her mindset right. You feel me? Maybe she can start doing YouTube videos. That's what got me out of my shit. <laughs> So, hey man, I think that's all I got to say. I just want to make this video real quick because a, a real nigga know when to admit when he wrong and shit. Or no, a real nigga knows that he has to admit when he wrong. So, I was wrong. It's crazy how quickly I realized this shit. Like, I did just uploaded the video about five minutes ago. And I realized I'm wrong. I apologize. So... I hope I hope she gets better. I hope she takes the time that she need to get right. I don't know the situation. I hope they can rectify that shit. Party next door, you a fucking asshole. <laughs> That's why your albums don't sell. That's probably why he's mad, because his albums don't sell. But, you know, like, that's all I got to say, I think. So, keep your head up, Kaylani. Real niggas is rooting for you. I was always rooting for you, because I love you, but we gonna move on. Uh, I'm not gonna do my outro because, like, nigga. So, I will see y'all on Thursday? Maybe Thursday. Depends on what the fuck goes on up here. Uh, see y'all then. Peace.